Hi everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to use all of these paints from Arteza, the gold, the Windsor & Newton Galleria Deep Turquoise, the Satin Enamel Deco Art White, Copper, and 24 Karat. Also the Resin Art Luster Pigments, I mixed, it, I mixed some of that into this iridescent medium from Galleria. And then I used the brown and the burnt sienna from Arteza as well. And so those are the colors that we use for the painting today. Today's painting is really interesting. Um, it's one of those I'm really excited about. And you know, <laughs> I was thinking this is probably going to be one of those that no one's going to give a crap about because... The ones that I like sometimes are the weird ones and, you know, not just a pretty flower or something. This is a really interesting journey of a painting. I go on a long journey. It took at least two and a half hours to do. I tried to edit it down as much as possible. Um, I probably will pop in and chat off and on throughout this to give you some insights. Um, the first pour on there is just a cloudy pour with a satin enamel at the very bottom. And if you want to rewind, I talk through it, but you can see how I layered my cup for that. All those pretty metallics I know are going to shine so bright and I'm really excited about it. That color, the light, um, color the thin layer that I poured around the canvas I'm hoping that some of those cells will pop through and that's the main reason why you would want to pour a really super thin layer on the bottom underneath your pour is because it kind of like weakens the paint structure and then some of it will um, the heavier paints will kind of fall down but anyway I I knew I didn't have enough paint right away, um, and so I had to do a second pour, which was totally fine. I really wanted to get some of that turquoise blue in there and see where I could go with it. Um, like I said, this is one of those paintings. I'm going to allow you to listen to some music and then possibly pop in here and there to give you a little insight as to what I was thinking when I did the pour. Yeah, here we go, and I'll talk to you in a minute.
So right here I use the marbling effect with the white satin enamel. This is a technique I've shown a few times in my earlier videos. I'm going to link to the video called The Brain in this so you can see. What happens is the gold sinks down, or basically most colors, when they're applied in a thin line will sink down into that white satin enamel. And then you get this sort of a marbled looking effect. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to achieve here, is just like a very fine, fine line of gold. And then also, um, I just wanted to bring in some of the dark brown elements from the rest of the painting into the white to create some depth. So right now it just looks like blobs, but as the satin enamel begins to do its job, which is to take over, then you'll see as it starts to sink down, it will actually incorporate itself into the painting. Now I already know <laughs> some people aren't gonna like me, but that's totally okay. I'm, I'm at peace with it. <laughs> but what happens is as I was doing the marbling effect and the satin enamel just kept eating it up and eating it up, I realized I had too much paint on there. And there had to be, I had to figure out a way to get that off, so. The swipe also provided a lot of interest and there's something about this painting and I think my friend um, Mina Vallegas, she actually, Mina Vallegas, she just started her YouTube channel and I'm going to link to it um, in my description box. You should check her out. She has beautiful art and she is a master of metallics. She just put out her first video today. But she hit the nail on the head and this kind of reminds me of like a caveman painting, um, all the earthy colors, and um, yeah, it just it just has that ancient, archaic sort of feel to it, and it just seems to get more that way as you watch. Now this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of this painting because I'm in complete and total awe at the way that flower right here turns out. Look at it. It may not look like much at first. <laughs> look at, I love that flower. And, but it, is so beautiful when it dries and I will show this painting after it's dried as well. And now just four or five drops of the high flow gold just at the base of the flower I'm not really going for dendrites just to add kind of a finishing bottom to those flowers and look how pretty I love this painting it's it's really special to me I don't know why some things sometimes a painting is just really special and and this is how it dried, it's really shimmery. The copper in there is so shimmery and shiny. Um, the gold, the 24 karat gold, the color art pigment resin, resin pigments that I used in there um, just made that gold so pretty too. And I was really impressed <laughs> with this painting, I guess. 
it didn't turn out anything like I initially thought, but I'm totally okay with it. So, yeah, this was a fun one for me. I want to thank you for coming and watching Heather made her art and also just for taking these long painting journeys with me, these winding journeys, because I know that these are not just your pour out of a cup, tilt off, and then it's done. And you know, those paintings are totally beautiful too and fun to do. Um, it means a lot to me that you'll stick around this long and watch something be created from start to finish that is um, definitely, you know, a, <laughs> a challenge. But I really, I don't know, I, I sometimes something special comes along and that's how I feel very um, emotional about the way this painting turned out. So, as always, I do appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I can't wait to make more videos for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make more art videos for you.